Well, the last time I checked, 1,200 calories a day was considered a diet for a woman. You should be able to drop two pounds a week on average. If your average, your average, your average intake is like 1,200 calories a day, you should be able to drop an average of two pounds a week. Uh, I have had a lot of experience with that. I know all about it. <laughs> So it really mystifies me when a year supply of food is offered for sale for an adult woman or an adult man or a child and adult men have higher calorie needs than women do and so do children and it supplies 1200 calories a day. There's something wrong with that picture. Please do not buy a year's supply of food that supplies 1,200 calories a day. Now, if they tell you that in addition to that, you need X number of buckets of beans and and uh, wheat or what have you, that's all good and well too. But you you're not gonna want to eat beans and wheat day after day either. So just be really careful. I am not a real proponent of, of prepackaged supplies of food where they decide you need you know a, a kidney bean and lentils and um, I'm trying to think <laughs> split green peas if your kids are used to eating Taco Bell those split green peas and the lima beans are gonna do you very little good I don't eat lima beans ever <laughs> I don't ever want to eat a lima bean. I'm just not real fond of them. I'm pretty particular about what I eat. And so most of my food storage reflects that. I cannot sit down at the computer and just click away and order, order, order everything I want. We've always been fairly tight with money. And so we've accumulated what we have little by little by little. And I have a lot of cases of number 10 cans. Some of them I have canned at home myself. I'm not a hundred percent sure that our canneries still loan out canners to be used in the home. I think you have to have, I'm pretty sure you have to have a church member get a canner from either the cannery or from their local church unit and and get the cans, the empty cans, and you have to you, you can't use them in the church building. You can't you can't go to an LDS building and use the canner in the building unless it's just for demonstration purposes only. But if you can get an, an LDS Mormon person to um, check out a canner with you and so the, the church member is responsible for the canner is my understanding. If they allow you to, they, if they allow you to do that in your area, if you're not Latter-day Saint, um, you can seal anything you want to. <laughs> I sealed up matches in a can because I thought it would be a good protection for them. Um, I'm getting way off topic here. <laughs> this is going to be a mishmash of different topics. I should have divided this video up. Editing right. Um, variety. I talked about variety before and I couldn't stress it more. You're not going to be happy eating the same kind of foods over and over again. My family doesn't like to eat the same food within two or three weeks of each other. You know, meals, the meals. You have to have spaghetti or I'm trying to think what I cook. I don't cook as much as I used to cook. At any rate, you get my drift. You can put almost anything you want to in the can. If it meets the requirements, you need to make sure it's low in moisture. I think it's about 10% and that it's not real high in fat. But you can, I have put some pretty interesting things in the cans. I'll have to think about what that was. But um, anyway, what was this what was this topic anyway? Let's see, what did we start talking out about? Talking so that's the end of what I really have to say. Um, and I'll be back with another video, I'm sure. Have a great evening, night, day, weekend. Bye.